I know I'm a day late and a dollar short on reporting this information. I'm sorry about that. Follow me on Twitter. Definitely addressed it. But <clears throat> we all know that Jacob Evans is foregoing his senior season. And he's entering himself in the NBA draft. Now, before everybody goes, gets in a big uproar, um, I've seen both sides of the coin just, you know, taking a few days to kind of sit back and let it go or just process everything. Honestly, I think this is a very good move for Jacob and UC. And just wait me out and hear, and hear me out. Um, for one, Jacob hasn't signed with an agent. Um, everything's pointing to the direction that he will sign with an agent. But if you have looked at a lot of mocks, they have him going late first round with his athleticism and everything, and he could move up. Now, you could say, hey, he didn't have a dominating year, but with the way you see plays, he did. He filled a need. He filled a void. He did a lot of things. So um, I wouldn't hold that against him, honestly. Um, and then personally, um, if you're going to get first round money, if he gives enough people say, hey, we want you in the end of the first round, mid first round, then you got to take that chance. Um, because hey, you go to college to get paid. You don't go to college to not get a job, right? So um, he's accomplishing his goal. You know, he wanted to be in the NBA. Um, the kid has the talent. Um, nice young man. So like, I I'm rooting for him. So no matter what happens, I'm rooting for Jacob. If he's a star in the NBA, if he's not, um, I hope he gets picked, especially in the first round. And I'm going to tell you why this is a good thing. Now, this isn't a good thing for UC next year. But the overall pitcher, this is a great thing for recruiting because if Jacob Evans gets drafted, Mick Cronin will have a, a carrot to dangle. Now, we know that, you know, Evans came in, he was a solid recruit, but it wasn't like um, he got overlooked. And we saw, you know, Mick saw a diamond in rough. And he's definitely been rewarded with Jacob because he's he's a, a kid that listens, well, young man that listens. Don't say kid, kid that young man that listens. Um, he works to get better. He has to try to get better. Um, when he's playing aggressive, it's not many kid people better than Jacob Evans. Honestly, that's just my opinion. I could be biased, but hey, whatever. Um, but he can do everything well. He can shoot. He can play the point. He can guard multiple positions. He has a 40, 40 to 42 inch vertical. I might be short him. He might be 44, but he can jump out the gym. Uh, he can rebound. He passes well. Um, if I haven't seen this game, you, can, you know, he shoots well. He gets to the hole. It just depends on if he turns it on, how he wants to play. He plays aggressive. I think in the NBA, the game's more wide open. So I think he'll get more. If he has, goes to a team that has a good culture, he will get more opportunities because he's that kind of player. Um, when you're 6'6 and you could multi guard multiple positions and you could play point guard, um, sky's the limit for you. So um, the bad thing is UC won't be as good next year because you're losing Gary Clark, Kyle Washington, and Jacob Evans all in one pop. But the good thing is um, he'll have, this will be the first, if he's drafted, he'll be the first guy drafted from UC since Lance Stevenson. Um, so that will be a good thing. And Lance Stevenson was drafted maybe seven years ago, and I'm not looking at this right now. So that would be a great thing for the Bearcats. Um, and then, so that's something that he can add to on a recruiting trail. So he can tell people, hey, you might not be getting looked at by Kentucky, North Carolina, but if you come with me, work on your game, I can get you drafted. And you have other people that are close to that step right now. You have Troy Copain that's doing great in the G League. You have Shaq Thomas that's doing pretty good in the G League. Um, you have other kids that are playing, young men that are playing overseas. So it's not like um, it's not like he's lying. You know, you got Farrah Cobbs overseas. You got Octavius Ellis that's overseas. Um, you had Cassius, um, not Cassius, Cash Mirror right overseas. And he, he's um, over here training kids now, but he won a championship overseas. You got other players that are still playing overseas. So it's like... Um, this isn't a bad thing. Um, now it kind of becomes Jaron Cumberland's team. I'll make another um, post about that. But this is, you know, I think it's, it's more of a good than a bad, even for you see possibly having the downgrade next year. And I don't think they're not going to be terrible next year, but you can't expect them to be a two seed. So I just, you just have to be realistic about the situation. So um, um, I, I'm I, all for Jacob definitely going to the draft um definitely with it um i wish him best of luck if he sees this man wish you best of luck you know um i wouldn't mind trying to get an interview see how once you go through the process and just kind of reporting to the fans how everything is going um but uh 
I'm JT Smith. I'm signing out. Just let me know what you think about Jacob Evans entering for the draft. I know I'm a few days late. I'm late. But I just wanted to kind of give it a few days to kind of so nobody had a knee-jerk reaction because everybody's going to be sad because they want him to come back. Because if he comes back, you see in him and Jaron Cumberland, with Kane Broom, it makes them a whole different team. But at the same time, man, you got to do what's best for your family. You get paid, you go to school to get paid. So remember that. So before you go to this old school, you stay four years, yada, yada, yada stuff. Think about it. If, you, if somebody offers you more than what you're making right now and you know this is what you came for, this is your craft, um, besides being a student, wouldn't you take a chance to look at it? Just think about that, man. Look yourself in the mirror before you judge this young man for the decision he's making. So I'm J.C. Smith, and I'm signing.